Really great news. Yeah, good news and pretty inspirational at that, Roop. In less than a week, Diane Gordon went from walking to work each and every day, five miles round trip, to now being the owner of a brand new Jeep, all thanks to the generous donations from the people just around the neighborhood. And just a couple hours ago, we watched her sign the papers, make it official right here at Zot Jeep here in White Lake and proving that a good deed truly can be rewarded. I love it. Yeah? Absolutely love it. Diane Gordon is all smiles as she gets acquainted with her new Jeep. She's been without a vehicle for a year now, which means walking to work and back two and a half miles each day. It was on her way home one cold day in January when she stopped in the BP gas station on Highland Road and found a bag of money, nearly $15,000, just laying on the ground. She immediately called police. The White Lake Sergeant was so taken back by Diane that he had to share her story. My wife was like, we gotta do something. And so my wife got with the chief and you know, uh, started the GoFundMe page. That effort led to others hearing the story and spreading the word about what she did and what she needs. In a matter of days, $67,000 had been raised. I got a call from Fox 2 and then um, Officer Connell came over to let me know what was going on, kind of break it to me and then told me about the GoFundMe and I'm like, I was in shock. And with the help of Zot M59 in White Lake, she got a new Jeep. She's literally one of the nicest people I've ever met and if anyone deserves it, it's her. Which in turn means she will no longer miss out on the real important aspects of life. I get to go on the 19th to my uh, granddaughter's uh, gymnastics competition and I can't wait. Yeah, Diane says she's been truly overwhelmed by the attention that she's received and uh, very thankful for the community. She says her favorite part of all this is that White Lake police were able to track down the rightful owners of the 15 grand that she found. They were a couple, a newlywed couple living on the west side of the state. She says despite getting a car and all the attention, that is indeed her favorite part of all this. Live in White Lake, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. It's great to see people do the right thing. And then, of course, people at like it's Zot's dealership paying it forward like that and really rewarding her because she deserves to have a ride somewhere to, you know, to safely get from place to place. Yeah, and I've been told, you know, with all that money, she's got more than enough to buy that car that they're actually going to take some of that money, the police department and the people over here at Zot, and do some home improvements for her. And they said that even after all that, she'll still have about 40 grand just to do with whatever wow. she wants, probably take a road trip in her new car.